My name is Moon Petri, and as I've mentioned in at least one video recently, I am struggling with the step I am currently on with my work in progress. And by struggling, I don't mean struggling to succeed, I mean struggling to even try. So I have been thinking a lot about ways to keep writing and keep feeling like a writer and maybe do something that I feel successful at, give myself a little boost to try to get back to my next goal with that work in progress. So I thought I would share some of my ideas with you. I feel like there are three basic areas that you can work within in order to shift gears without giving up. So one would be working on something different with that work in progress. It could mean, I know everybody says not to edit as you go, but if you are drafting and you hit a serious roadblock, I would have to say it might be better to go back and do some editing than to not open your document for a month or a year. <laughs> I would also suggest considering writing a story about one of your character's pasts. Just write a short story. It doesn't have to um, come up in the novel at all or even be referenced but may give you a better sense of the character, will keep you in that world, and will give you something fun and different to focus on. There are probably other ways to approach this. If you've been banging your head against the ending, go back to the beginning in revision or whatever, but just shift what you're doing within the work in progress. The second area would be to work on a different work in progress or a different work of the same type. So maybe you already have something else. You're drafting something new, getting really stuck, but you do have a piece that you have been in revisions on. You could go back to that and work on your revisions or vice versa. You're revising something, but you have a started or at least brainstormed or outlined um, other novel of the type that you tend to write and you could shift into that project. So I do have that option. Um, I do have a drafted but 100% unrevised, not even read through novel that I wrote in uh, April, May, and June. And so that would be an option for me. But with me, it's a huge project and would be um, starting from scratch. So we'll see. That's still on the possibilities list. You could also think about what is a stage or what is an aspect that you really enjoy. So that if you're truly feeling like, I don't even know if I can do this at all. I don't even know if I'm a writer anymore. You can totally think about your favorite thing and if it's brainstorming or if it's outlining start something new and it, it can be a zero pressure a maybe someday project but just to get your head in a space where you feel successful and happy about what you're doing the other thing is to take a writing prompt from somebody else so i recently did the fall writing tag and one of the questions is to give people a writing prompt. So I suggest you go and watch anybody doing that particular tag because it's seasonally appropriate and because you will get great writing prompts from everybody. And I'm specifically going to put a link to Kat Sperling's tag where her prompt was actually really exciting and fun. <laughs> and I might even write that one. And then the third area is to step away from that stuff entirely. So you could work on a short story if you only ever write novels. You could start writing 
something that was a crazy science fiction idea and you don't even know how to write science fiction and have never tried before because you always write historical romance. I don't know, but just completely try something new. And then if you have any success at it, it will feel like a huge success because it's your first stab at something. And your first try is, you know, any success is amazing. Or you could not write fiction. You could try writing something autobiographical, a little memoir piece from your own life. You could write about people you care about. You could write about something that is a non-fiction passion of yours, science or history. And just give your brain a break from the totally creative mode. And for me, the thing that I have been writing, uh, other than lists, I'm a crazy lister, <laughs> always listing. I have, I have my little pseudo bullet journal, um, which I won't really call a proper bullet journal because uh, it's not very pretty. It's mostly pencil scribbles. Um, and then I also just have uh, falling over giant stacks of paper of all sorts of lists. So other than that, though, uh, one of my goals in my bullet journal <laughs> for this month is to reach out to people more. And obviously, I'm trying to keep writing even if I'm not finishing the project that I keep meaning to finish. So people love to get real handwritten letters in the actual mailbox with, you know, a stamp on it. So I've been trying to do some of that, sending a card or sending a letter, putting actual things in the mail. And it's fun. It's a fun process because there's little to no revision. You're doing it all out by hand. You're thinking about your life and things you want to relate and you're thinking about another person and what's going on in their life and trying to connect with them. You're making them feel awesome and you are trying to keep writing. So that is the one that I have done so far. I actually like writing letters so much that a few years ago I once participated in international Correspondence Writing Month, which is in February. The goal is to write a letter every single day in February, um, reaching out ultimately to 28 people. So that was super cool. I wrote to mostly family, lots and lots of people, but also um, found some neat organizations um, where people can be nominated by friends or family to receive random letters. Um, People that don't have a whole lot of ability to have social contact, um, people in hospitals, the elderly, kids in hospitals, there's a whole organization that um, you can write letters for kids in hospitals to receive. And so I will link those cool organizations below. Until next time, my name is Moon Pedri and good luck with your work in progress or with whatever you're shifting gears to, if you are doing that like I am.